Can you hear anything we're saying? All right. Yep. Andrew McRae, M A C capital R A E. Jane Pucher, P as in Peter, U C H E R. I'm exhausted. Um, apart from that, though, quietly confident. I think we got. We were able to get into the evidence all that we wanted to get in. I thought there was some powerful, powerful evidence. Uh, I didn't think the case, the state's case was very strong. And uh, we're optimistic. No trial ever goes as you expect. But uh, all of those witnesses testified as we expected them to testify. Uh, and as you remember, they had very vivid recollections of some pretty horrible acts. And I think it was pretty powerful stuff. What's different is we have, what I lost count, 15, 20 witnesses who have come forward, uh, people with no axe to grind. They don't know Jimmy Fennell. They don't know Rodney Reed. They're friends of Stacy Stites. And they came forward to tell us and the court what they knew. That's what's different. Rodney is presumed innocent of every other thing that he's accused of, every other thing. I was disappointed uh, for a couple of reasons. I was really disappointed that the state would do what the state did, which is leave those poor women hanging for 25 years. I think that's the problem. He was charged with other things. He was never appointed an attorney for any of them. None of them has been investigated. 25 years, and, and the state has done nothing. How do you plan to come and wrap this up when you finally come back in, what, 30 days or more, sometime in August? Uh, hopefully Jane will do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jane, how do you plan to do it? We have a lot to pull together. I think that you all have been sitting here for the past two weeks. We brought forward a lot of powerful evidence going directly to Mr. Reed's innocence showing that he and Ms. Stites had a consensual relationship that had been going on for some time, and showing that Mr. Fennell is not anywhere close to what the state has claimed him to be. Um, and we're going to pull that together to make those arguments for you all, for the court of public opinion, and more importantly for Judge Langley. And we're going to have the chips fall where they may. But we believe firmly in Rodney's innocence. He and his family have been fighting this case for the better part of my lifetime. And we're honored to have been a part of this for the past two weeks and for the past many years. What do you think that will be? Which part? Closing <laughs> argument. We don't have a date yet, so I, you know, hopefully sometime soon, but enough time for either Andrew or I to pull together. From a legal standpoint, what's the goal here? Is it a new trial just to clear all that up? That's right. The, the goal would be for a new trial, and then it would be up to the state whether to prosecute him. Uh, but we want Rodney to have the day in court that he actually deserves with all of this evidence of his innocence to be presented. Sandra Reed said it was the first time that she felt like this judge was failing. Do you feel like Judge very, very. I mean, you, you saw him on the bench. He was equally stern with both sides. He was equally flexible with both sides. And he said more than once, I want to develop a full record. And I think that's exactly what he did. Uh, I didn't really hear very much discreditation at all. Uh, I heard them pick and uh, fuss at those people for coming forward, but every single one of them came forward uh, of their own accord. And you heard Michael Bordelon say he's following his heart. You heard Susan Hugan say, I'm here for Stacy. You heard Arthur Snow say, I don't give a shit if you believe me or not. Those are, those are powerful, powerful testimonies. <laughs> Thank you all so much. I think much. if I started cussing, you'd give me a look. <laughs>
Will you present a written closing argument to the judge before you make Yeah, so the schedule is at the moment, August 17th, we submit uh, proposed findings of fact and conclusions of law in writing. The state will as well. And then Judge Langley is going to hear an oral argument after he's had time to consider those. And then do you know how much time Judge Langley is expected to see to issue uh, written recommendations? At the moment, his deadline is August 31st. But you heard him say that he's going to request an extension. And so hopefully the Court of Criminal Appeals will give him the time that he needs to make a full and considered decision. Didn't he say he was going to ask for 30 more days? That's what I heard. Well, it's going to be a fall thing, possibly. <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't expect it to go a whole lot longer. The Court of Criminal Appeals has already set some deadlines, but the judge indicated he's going to try and extend them a little to give him a bit more time. He's got a lot of work ahead of him. Adrian, what is your last name? Future. P is in Peter. U C H E R. It rhymes with future. It rhymes with future. Yes. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.